Oh, howdy all, grab yourselves a beer, it is time for some Path of Exile discussion. And today I want to talk about crafting 200 axes in the Legion League. I've not been taking Legion all that seriously, so I'm a fair way behind. I've got a pretty dumpster tier weapon at the moment, and I'm looking to make myself a bit of an upgrade. So, I want to give you a bit of a sense as to how I go about deciding how I'll craft a weapon, and then how I'll go about actually doing it. Now firstly, uh, I'm going to be crafting on an Elder Base Axe, and the one that I have my hands on at the moment is an item level 80 Flesh Ripper. Uh, we'll get to the reasons that this matters later. I would get better results if I crafted on an 83, but the I, I just bought it quite early in the league, it was what I had available, and the extra, the chance of getting something better that I get by going to 83 is so small that I don't really mind. So you'll see here that I'm starting on POAB poedb.tw. This is a website that has data main information from the game files, and it lists first up all of the different mods that can roll just by using a Chaos Orb on a normal two-handed axe. Now I'm using a Flesh Ripper, uh, you can use a Vile Axe, you can use whatever you want. Ultimately there are, I think, two best choices and they are the Vile Axe and the Flesh Ripper. Uh, Vile Axe has more damage, Flesh Ripper has more critical strikes. I believe there's one other competitive choice as well, but I'm just sticking to these two for the moment. And given that you're going to be using semi-expensive crafting currency on, on the item, you do want to start with a fairly good, uh, with a fairly good base. Now, what we're going to do after this is have a look at the mods that are desirable and undesirable, and then we're going to use fossils to preclude as many of the undesirable mods as possible while increasing our chances of getting the ones we care about. And if I just bring up the game client for a sec, uh, you may be able to tell here that what I'm planning on doing. I've got Jagged Fossils, more physical, no chaos. I've got Prismatic Fossils, which might seem a little weird because I'm looking for a physical damage weapon. I'll get to why in a sec. More elemental modifiers, no poison or bleeding. And then we have the opposite, Corroded Fossil, which is the opposite of the Prismatic more poison or bleeding modifiers, and no elemental modifiers. And then a bunch of three socket resonators. So you might see what we're, where we're going with this, uh, if you're familiar with fossil crafting. In any case, let's bring back up the uh, Path of Exile database site, and I'll have a look at, like, each of the different mods that's available, there's a whole lot of information contained on them. So let's just click on the hybrid physical damage percentage and accuracy rating roles first. And Dictator's obviously being the best role here. There's some in additional information here where you've got the name of the mod and you've got what the mod does. This column lists the item level that's required at minimum in order to roll this mod. There are no maximum item levels. So Squires can roll on any base uh, from item level 1 up to, a, up to and including 100. Uh, Conquerors can roll on 60 through 100 inclusive. Dictator's on 83 to 100 inclusive. Now, this means that generally, the higher the item level, the better. There are a couple of weird exceptions that come up sometimes with uh, undesirable Shaper and Elder mods. Uh, we'll get, uh, we can go over those quickly. The other thing that comes up is this last number. This is the weighting of the mod. This is a measure of the probability of rolling it. The higher the number, the higher your chances. Essentially, the way that the, when the game decides that you're going to get an, an additional prefix, it will give you... A thousand, essentially think of it as a thousand tickets in a raffle for Squires, for the Squires mod. Uh, so Squires gets a thousand entries in the raffle. Journeyman's gets a thousand, assuming that you're item level 11 or higher. Reavers gets a thousand if you're 23 or higher, and so on and so on. But you only get 25 tick tickets with Dictators written on them. 25 I believe to be equal rarest mod in the game. Uh, the other 25s are Merciless, which is a top tier physical damage roll. And the Shaper plus percentage experience on rings. There may also be other ones that are that rarity, uh, but those are the ones that I that I know of. In fact, I'm not even certain that the Shaper's experience on rings, uh, it may be 50, not 25. And we'll have a look through, there's various other mods. So you've got here, there's the Merciless tier uh, is 25, 100 for, this one, uh, for the Cruel tier, 200 for Bloodthirsty, which is sort of the last one you see often. A thousand is the default. Anything over a thousand is a mod you're going to see a lot. Anything under a thousand is going to feel a bit rarer. There's a number of mods that are completely, completely worthless to us when we're crafting a physical damage weapon. What we're going to do 
is we're going to use fossils to make as many of those unable to be rolled as possible. Now I mentioned earlier that corroded fossils are something I'm going to be using. These remove all possibility for elemental modifiers to roll, but at the same time give you more poison and bleeding modifiers. Poison and bleed aren't that useful to me, they're not absolutely worthless, but they're pretty weak on my build. Uh, so we're going to want to do something about those. But when you click a corroded fossil, you'll notice there's been a bit of a change on the screen. All of the mods that are elemental have disappeared. So for instance, have a look at this one, adds X to Y fire damage. Uh, as soon as I put that in, boom, it's gone because there's an elemental mod and elemental mods can't roll. Now, we're going, what we're going to do is use two that are opposites of each other. The prohibitions on what you can roll dominate the allowances. So for the with a corroded and a prismatic fossil both in an item, uh, you end up unable to roll either elemental or poison or bleeding modifiers. Even though the corroded fossil says no elemental modifiers, the prismatic one says more elemental modifiers, the one that, ta that dominates out of those two is the prohibition. So the corroded fossil says, no, you can't roll them. Prismatic says, but I want more of them. No, no, you can't. So when we add these two fossils in, uh, it eliminates a lot of rolls from the, from the pool. And every single one of these rolls is neutral or bad for us. So that's a really positive thing. Now we're going to have a look at the other things that are available. Uh, we've got increased, oh, so we've got dictators, we've got merciless, we've got flat physical, uh, we've got some various gem level mods, which I think are pretty rare from memory. Oh no, plus to melee gems isn't, but plus to all gems is, is fairly rare. We've got some leech mods, and we've got flat chaos. Flat chaos we don't really want either, but that's going to get removed when we add um, jagged on here. Alternately, because it's only available at item level 83, uh, and because this does absolutely nothing for a cyclone build that is using brutality support, uh, it actually is an incentive to consider using an item level 82 or lower. And ultimately you need to balance it out. Malicious is a bad role, but Merciless and Dictators are extraordinarily good roles. So for that reason, we're just going to bypass the whole question by using a Jagged Fossil, which then removes them from the equation entirely. Now we have the big question. Do we want to use a Shaper Base or an Elder Base? And for a two-handed axe, the question, the answer is very simple. We want to use an Elder Base because so Socketed Gems are supported by level X Fortify is better than everything else that can possibly roll. The reason for that is that Fortify was recently changed. Fortify support now does more than it used to do. Uh, it grants a considerable more multiplier to physical damage and also, I believe, to bleed and poison. I, I'd have to check on that because my build isn't going to be doing any either of those, uh, but it adds considerable amounts of more damage. These preclude getting rolling anything from the Merciless family. So if you roll something from Heavy to Merciless, you then cannot roll the Fortify roll, and I've just clicked on the wrong one. You cannot then roll any of these Elder mods. So you can't roll Supported Gem, so uh, supported, Socketed Gem supported by Onslaught, or Endurance Charge on Melee Stun or Fortify. However, these rolls are so good that they basically render Merciless, Tyrannical and the like. Uh, I wouldn't go as far as to say into being bad rolls, but they're no longer the chase rolls that they once were. These are the chase rolls, and these are the reason that we're going to be using an Elder, an Elder weapon. The next thing that we want is to get is to do things that increase the chance of getting physical and attack rolls. Uh, because those are the roles that we want. We can use either serrated or jagged fossils. Uh, I'm going to be using jagged fossils because at the moment they are much, 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 much cheaper. Uh, and they also add this potentially very powerful uh, mod with a high, uh, with a high chance of being rolled. So for that reason, I'm going to choose to use jagged fossils. Uh, however, there are certainly very strong merits to using serrated fossils. The other one to consider is Shattering Fossils. Uh, shattering Fossils add speed mods. They make all of your attack speed chances, uh, all of the rolls that increase attack speed uh, more likely to roll. Attack speed is one of the most important stats you can roll on a melee weapon. So let's jump over into the game client and let's have five attempts and see how we go. So we're going to be using one Jagged, one Corroded, and one Prismatic Fossil on this uh, relatively bad at the moment Flesh Ripper. 
that had been just what I crafted after um, getting rid of my original weapon. You'll notice it's not even six linked at the moment. Uh, that's something that I'm trying to work on, but I've just been having bad luck. Not even getting it to five link as, uh, so far, but we'll get there, we'll get there. So, firing off the first one, what do we got here? Supported by endurance charge on melee stun, which is nice. Adds flat fizz, but the flat fizz roll is terrible. Uh, stun duration and intimidate. There is space for crafted increased attack speed, however, I feel that glinting is such a bad roll that it renders the point pretty much moot. This is the sort of thing we're wanting to craft, but glinting is just such a bad roll that we missed entirely with it. A side note, we could also consider using uh, sanctified fossils, which bias your rolls towards higher rolls. Uh, so that would mean that you would be very unlikely to get glinting and you would be much more likely to get something like annealed or razor sharp that is at the higher end of the of the tier for flat physical rolls. Uh, however, I'm not using them because the cost of sanctified fossils, I feel, outweighs the benefit. Let's try again. What do we got here? We've got we've got some serviceable mods here. Uh, we have serrated is a low tier increased flat fizz, but we've got it with emperors. Uh, polished, unfortunately, is too low a roll, and as is anger. Uh, there's there's potential in these rolls had they been higher tiers. Emperors is a very rare roll, but unfortunately. Uh, this Emperor is not is not with a strong enough um, supporting cast to be of any use to us. There's no justification in doing anything expensive to try to improve this further. Instead, we're just going to start over. And it might help if I actually get that in the right spot. Again, unfortunately, although we've hit the powerful Intimidate on hit roll, uh, we've got Vicious, which is nice. Uh, Remora's is a very mediocre roll. Uh, there's, there are better ways. There are ways with a lower opportunity cost to solve your mana than Mana Leech, so it's not very powerful. And again, we've got Glinting. Uh, glinting is just basically a turd that is in, in our way. So we're going to start that one again. There's no guarantee that we're going to get there in the uh, amount of fossils that I have available for the moment. And that is a complete and utter pile of garbage. Key thing we're looking for though is getting that fortify roll. Uh, it's so strong that even if it's with some mediocrity, uh, we might be able to finish the item with a benchcraft. And I don't know what that item thinks it's doing, why, why, how it justifies its existence to itself. Um, I'm never going to be able to figure that one out. Uh, it's just an absolutely terrible one. So let's go and grab our last two resonators that we're going to use. And that one, um, I think that that roll's um, mother would be ashamed of it. And our final try for the moment. Uh, we have Champions is a nice roll, Razor Sharp is a nice roll, Vampires is mediocrity. Um, we've just got something that's that's not a good item, but that is serviceable to use in the short term until I can find something better. Um, and that's been a lot of my modus operandi lately, is just use, use this, uh, keep trying to roll something better, but we haven't got there with this lot. Uh, we can stick something else on it as a suffix, uh, just to get a little bit more utility out of the item. Uh, I would normally want to put, uh, I want some sort of attack speed on it, uh, but I am going to check because I'm looking to be linking it, I'm going to go with something that's uh, quality. Let's not go tier one on that, let's go tier two. And oh, what's that? 10% IAS, 12% quality is enough. Or do I want to just go with the cheapest? Let's just go with the cheapest quality roll for the moment. That will be enough. It's only four chaos is, a, is something I, I'm happy to frivolously spend. And then we're just going to see how we can go from here. So you haven't had any success in this rolling attempt, uh, but that's the methodology. It will work if you keep trying at it. And eventually you'll get something considerably better than I have here. Have you got any questions far away? Otherwise, have a good one.